Hi, my name is Steve Houston. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, this is a channel where we discuss the IMOs, we compare the IMOs, we discuss really all things related to financial services, but specifically mortgage station and final expense. We talk about the compensation plans, their products. As I said, we compare them all and where necessary, we provide third party documentation, which I believe beats any conversation because you can take a look at it, you can evaluate it, and then you can decide what's best for you. This video, I'm gonna make part of that playlist that we've been creating, which is all about the decision process of what selling mortgage session insurance is, what you should be considering before you're joining. Things like, should I be independent operating as a broker or should I be a captive agent? What does it really take to succeed here and whether or not it's for you? So if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, don't miss this series. I'll put the playlist right up here. And what I'm answering in this playlist is the questions that I get every single day, all throughout the week from the hundreds of people that are emailing me, texting and calling me about things that they're considering when looking at the mortgage session and final expense career. So if you're brand new, make sure you hit the subscribe button, mash that bell next to it. That gives you instant notifications of new videos that are putting up. And then I'll put the playlist up here. All right, so on this video, uh, this has been non-happy for a long time because really it's, it's stinking thinking. The number, and I understand where it's coming from, but the number one question that I get is, hey, Steve, how much are the leads and how much should I expect to pay for the leads? And I, and I, I get it on text, I get it on email, and I get it on conversations on the phone. And really, it's, again, it goes back to that stinking thinking part. I understand where it's coming from because you want to kind of figure out whether or not you had the money, but it's not about lead cost. I want to correct the mindset. It's not about lead cost. It's totally wrong. And so let me prove my point. What if I told you that the IMO that I was with charges you $500 for a lead, okay? It's $500 for, let's just say, it's a mortgage protection lead. What is the next thing you're going to say? Hell no, <laughs> but, but wait. And that's most people's reaction. However, let me ask you, Jack, if you handed me a $500 bill and I turn around and hand you back a thousand bucks, would you do that? And of course, most people are gonna say, yes, Steve, I would do that. And how many times a day would you allow me to do that, right? And that's the point. It's not the how much the lead costs, it's the conversion factor. And the conversion factor applies to a lot of things. It directly relates to how many sales you can expect to make based on the number of leads that you buy, right? It's the conversion factor. It's about the quality of the lead. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's drill this down for a second so you understand really what I'm talking about. Maybe you can change your mindset. Now I'm not saying that you shouldn't be concerned about lead costs. I think that you should in terms of being able to cash flow your business, right? We all need to make sure we cash for our business. Whether you're a veteran or you're just starting out, you gotta watch that cash which is why I tell most people I would recommend you buying historical or aged leads starting out. But my biggest disclaimer to that is it greatly depends on where you're getting the leads. Not all leads are created equal, right? If you're buying those leads from a lead selling vendor, right? They're in the, and they're in the business for, stop, and they're in the business of selling leads, right? They're, they're gonna sell that lead over and over and over again. And there are IMOs out there that also do that because they have no technology to remove the lead when someone makes a sale to that particular prospect, right? So those things do vary. So you wanna make sure that you are with an IMO that protects the quality of the lead, right? By the technology that they have in place to do so. That way you don't get any redated, recycled, or repurposed leads, right? And the reason why I mention that is that's our common ground for this conversation. So let's take, for example, our conversion rate. Oh, you can expect really a three to one ratio. That means you need three fresh leads for one sale. Okay, very important, right? Now, when I talk about A leads, I'm talking about a fresh, whatever your IMO calls them, I'm talking about a brand new fresh lead, never been sold to another agent inside your IMO right? And you should close one sale. That is your conversion factor over a large number of leads 
that you can expect to average. So what does that look like? Let's just take an average contract rate of 70%. If you have a higher contract rate, the results can be better. Okay, so let's take a look at the numbers. The average sale in the industry is a thousand bucks. Now this rarely ever changes. In our IMO with thousands of agents, and with our agency with several hundred agents, it always comes down to about a thousand to 1100 bucks average APV across all the agents. So this is a solid number for you to track. So a thousand dollars APV, for those of you who don't know what that means, it's taking the monthly payment that the client would pay, which in this case, roughly $85 a month, times it by 12, and you get the annual premium value, okay, of $1,000, roughly, right? Now, let's just say you're on an average contract of 70%. There are contracts that are much lower. There are some that are higher. So 70% is a good average. That means you're going to make $700 commission on that $1,000 sale. Now, they're going to hold back 25% of your commissions in kind of a forced savings account in the event anything were to cancel, right? And that throws you into what they call a chargeback status. What that means is, is once that policy is issued and paid commission, right? you're going to get $546 deposited in your bank account the next day. As long as you're not with an IMO that has their hands in your money, you should get paid directly from the carriers. Big tip there, Mutual Ma, Transamerica, AIG, Foresters, CFG, all these carriers, billion dollar carriers regulated by the state is who you want paying you, not the money funneled through the IMO and then to you, right? So $546 is what you're gonna get paid direct deposit into your account once that policy is issued and commissions paid. That doesn't mean that you've lost the remaining 25%. It means that in months 10, 11, and 12, what this is is a nine month advance, right? Because the average policy in this industry, mortgage protection policy stays on the books on average nine months. So the insurance company is willing to risk giving you nine months in advance because you only really have earned the first commission, which is the first premium payment, right, of $85. They can't get you and I get in our car and drive out to someone's house and sit down there for a $30 commission. So what they do is they come up with this annual premium value and then pay you nine months in advance to incentivize you to go out there and do it in advance. Now, if you want to do it on a month to month basis so that you don't put yourself in chargeback situation, should someone cancel, it's not a big deal, but if you are overwhelmed by it, you can certainly go on what they call as earned and only get paid when they pay. Then you're never in a chargeback status. I don't recommend that, but you can do that, right? But you will get paid this is nine months here, right? So let's just say, for example, you did this sale in January, months 10, which is October, November, December, you'll get the remaining 25%. So you've actually earned your $700 total commission, right, for the year that you get paid to make that sale. Okay, so you made $700 on the one sale. So let's say, for example, that you were paying $45 for an A lead. This is not what our IMO charges. Our IMO charges less, but let's just take this as an average. $45, you've bought three of them. Okay, what is that total? 135? Okay, so you've had $135 in lead cost, and you made $700, right? So again, I'll go back to asking you the same question. If you handed me $135 and I turn around and hand you back $700, what, is that a good exchange and how many times a day would you do it? See, that's what I mean by it's not necessarily lead cost, it's lead conversion and the quality of the leads that you buy. Even if you went day to day on what you got deposited in the bank and you forgot about the additional 25%, you're still getting $546 return on your $135 investment right? So that's what I'm talking about. Let me go back to the board here and give you an example. My newest agent, 60 days into the program, got licensed, hit the road this week. He bought $80 worth of $2 leads, not $45, $2 leads. He set four appointments. He made four sales, and those sales totaled $4,263.17 in APV. 
Okay? Which means that his, his commission was $2,984.22. So $2,984.22 was his commission. And he was advanced $22,38.16. $22,38.16. Okay, so let's break that down again real quickly so you get the gist of what I'm saying on this video. Okay? He spent $80. He bought historical leads, bonus leads or age leads, whatever you want to call them, right? From a vendor that he knew that a C lead should only have been sold three times, right? But never sold a product. He set four appointments off those A leads so far. He made four sales, right? He earned $2,900 of commission and he had $2,238 advanced to him. There's still 25% that has not been paid out, right? That he has in reserve. So, Basically, he handed the IMO, not me, $80, and he earned $2,984, and he was advanced next day into his bank account, $2,238.16 for an $80 investment. Okay, so big shout out to Terry from North Carolina because that's a fantastic first week. As they say in business, location, location, location. It's all about location where your business is located as to whether or not you succeed. One of the number one criteria is where are you going to locate your business? Well, it can be said similar to that in more section of final spins, right? It's leads, leads, leads. Good leads equals a happy and prosperous agent. Now look, here's my disclaimer because I get this on text and I get it on phone calls and I get it on email. My channel here, the one you're on, is to help you succeed in this industry. I do not sell leads, I do not sell coaching, and I do not sell mentoring, right? I do hire some agents that call me, they're looking for a place to go, because I believe we have the best IMO and we have the best training from our agency standpoint, day-to-day, step-by-step, plug-and-play, before, during, and after the sale, getting the app from Smith's Commission that we help you with, and we teach you a time-tested and proven system how to succeed skills that you need to learn to succeed in this business long-term. That's what I do every single day. There's no question we have a phenomenal training program, right? But we don't sell it. If you're a fit for our agency and we decide to hire you, we plug you into that and I can virtually guarantee your success if you're coachable, have a burning desire to succeed, and are willing to work. But again, this channel is designed to help all of you or we decide to work together. That's what I do. I, I'm passionate about the agent, and I'm passionate about your success. You don't have to be here for me to want to hear from you. I want to be that clear because I get that all the time. Are you selling leads? Are you selling uh, coaching? My time is valuable, but I freely give it to all of you who want to succeed in this business, and it takes a conversation. So again, plain and simple, I ain't selling nothing here, unlike some of those others that you find on the internet and on YouTube. Remember who we are. We are mortgage protection specialists, and we show people how to protect their greatest asset, which is their home. I hope this is valuable to you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.